I'm Dr. Dan Williams. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here at Piner Surgical Clinic in Piners, North Carolina. We're here to talk about sacroiliac joint dysfunction or sacroiliac joint pain. It's often missed or confused with back pain or hip pain. So the sacroiliac joint is where our spine meets our pelvis. So we commonly describe the sacroiliac joint as a great imitator just because it doesn't always fit one little pattern of pain. It's typically gonna cause pain kind of in the buttock region. Often though, it can cause pain in the front of the thigh, it can cause pain down the back of the thigh, it can cause kind of a pubic region pain. It can also cause burning or even kind of a numbness type feeling. Typically, we diagnose this problem with a physical exam and history, so find out when it's bothering the patient. It's often worse when people are doing transitional movements. That would be going up and down stairs, getting up from a seated position to standing position, even sleeping at night. If you're sleeping on that same side, uh, it tends to cause pain. Part of the issues with sacral iliac joint dysfunction is this kind of relies on more of an old school type medicine where you have to lay your hands on the patient and there's certain provocative maneuvers that we use to see if it reproduces that same pain. If those exam findings are positive, then we would move on likely to rule out spine pathology with either an x-ray or MRI. But the real test of determining what whether or not someone has sacroiliac joint dysfunction is a uh, diagnostic injection. The way it works is it gives you a numbing medication that numbs that joint or basically takes away the pain from that joint temporarily. If you have a positive response or greater than 50% improvement in your pain for about 68 hours after the injection, then that's pretty consistent with having that problem. So once someone has a diagnosis of sac sacroiliac joint dysfunction, we've done the physical exam, the history, they're all consistent. We've ruled out spine pathology. The next steps would be to consider treatment and the treatment options for this are physical therapy. Uh, you can wear a sacroiliac joint stabilizer belt, non anti-inflammatories, and then the injection, both diagnostic and you can have steroid in the injection, which can reduce some inflammation. The surgical treatment for this with the iFuse implant system is a minimally invasive surgery about a one to two inch incision on the side. It's muscle sparing or muscle splitting. It takes about an hour. It's outpatient same day surgery where you would go home the same day. This is all image guided. So we have instant x-ray fluoroscopy, which helps us guide pins across the joint. And then we place triangular titanium implants into the SI joint, which allows it to fuse. All in all, it's a great procedure. The only thing I tell patients is afterwards, I have protected weight bearing status. So you might feel very good and the pain might be better within a couple of days that you had pre-surgery, but we still want you to be careful for the first several weeks until it heals. So one of the reasons I use the iFuse implant system is patients often ask me, what's the chance I'm gonna get better? And because the IFU system is so heavily studied and they did a good job with clinical trials, I can very straightforward tell the patient, this is what I expect. By our measures or metrics, how we look at you and ask you questions, you have an 80% chance of success. By me coming back a year later and asking you if you're happy or not, whether or not you would do it again, it's 90% chance that you would say you'd do it again and you thought it was a success. So. Those numbers help me in my practice more than a lot of other types of surgeries that I do. I started to consider uh, SI fusion or SI joint dysfunction as a problem because I do a lot of lumbar surgery. I do a lot of cervical surgery. I've had patients who've had fusion surgery multiple level years ago and now they come in with this terrible sacroiliac joint pain and they've just been told all along that, well, you had lumbar fusion and this is what you get when really it's a treatable problem. It's been satisfying to say the least for me, finding and treating patients who had pathology that was often overlooked as just back pain. If you think you have sacroiliac joint dysfunction or you've been told that in the past and you'd like to get treatment, we invite you to come in and see us and we can help you explore your different options for this, both surgical and non-surgical.